So, welcome to Riseland Break the Cycle. It's the last part of the Riseland trilogy. Okay. So, you awake from darkness. Your eyes are dry. The lids are heavy. And the room you are in seems impossibly bright. The walls are sandstone, and they're very old and cracked. The floor is cold to the touch, and you realise you are alone in here, lying on your back. Though there is a bed in the same room, you awake upon the smooth floor. You're dressed in nothing but a simple white tunic, and your feet are bare. As you struggle to comprehend your surroundings, you feel a slight tremor run below you, and then subside. The next thing you hear is running footsteps, also barefooted, approaching the room from the other side of the door. Okay, so let's go to a map. Oh yeah, eventually I'll have a new token. Ah, fair enough. You happy with that one for now? For now, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, cool. Everyone see themselves? Yep. Good. <laughs> I, I got a special one for Ugar. <laughs> I think I'll switch. <laughs> no, no, that one's bad. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> it's a gnome with a mankini. Okay. So, uh, you hear footsteps. Is there anything you'd like to do? <clears throat> Just so you know, you don't know where the other people are yet. Of course uh, See if I can look out the grate here, or the window. Yep, uh, that's actually the door, but you can go up to the door if you like. I mean, if there's... Yeah, I mean... Yeah, there's, there's no that. windows in these rooms. It's literally just bare rooms apart from the beds. Why is it so bright, then? Um, there is a skylight above you. Uh, beyond which you can see a clouded day. It's just like um, almost twilight in colour, but quite bright. Uh, as you approach the door... Uh, you can hear the footsteps loud, louder. Uh, they seem to be hurrying towards your door. Uh, and as you actually reach it, the door wrenches open. And you come face to face with a small blonde girl. Uh, she is very young in appearance. Um, she's got fair skin. And she's got a messy crop of short blonde hair. And like you, she's dressed in a bulky red cloak that is entirely too big for her. Let's pop her in here. Uh, she just immediately pushes her way into the room. By the way, this is happening to all of you, but it's happening at different times, so I'm just doing it all in one go, basically. Ah, okay. Okay. Then I duck under the bed. <laughs> she says, uh, "Don't worry, you, you can come out. We we need to we need to hurry. Come on, we've got we've got to yeah. go." I mean, I'll, I'll be following her, but, like, where am I? Also, oh, yeah. I'm assuming not evil? Detect evil? Um, she definitely does not detect as evil. Okay. She seems a bit, um, distressed. And she just says, it, it, It's okay, um, I suppose you'll be a bit confused at the moment. Um, I guess you don't remember a whole lot. If it, You just need to head to the gallery and everything will make sense there. If you, if you head to the to the gallery, it's it, it's in the east wing. Come on, you, you've got to go. Uh, and at that moment, the entire castle shudders again. You feel a tremor run through once more. Um, a bit more severe this time, and an ominous creaking sound runs through the ceiling. All right, so I I'd go wherever she wants me to go. Um, if anyone has nothing else to say to her, then she immediately leaves your room and leaves the door open. Um, because she's basically like running around to each room and trying to round you all up. Uh, the only exception is with Conrad. Uh, she actually stays with Conrad and grabs you by the hand and is trying to drag you forward out of the room. Alright, then yeah, I would, I would follow her. Okay. Right, carefully crawl out from under the bed, <laughs> make my way to the doorway, and take a peek outside. Okie dokie. 
Um, as you come out of the rooms, you see uh, other doors opening nearby you. This is uh, Ember, Corin, and Morpy Karna. Um, you see other people emerging. One of them is a small gnome. Um, one of them is a human male, and Ember is also a human male, isn't he? I think he's human. Yep. Yeah, okay. Um, they're all dressed exactly the same as you. Everyone's the same way. And they also look kind of confused, too, as to what's going on. Uh, if you guys would like, uh, you can now give a brief description of your character's appearance, starting with Ember. Um, well, for those of you who remember Ember, uh, some things have changed. Okay, that is. I can't find the picture I see. <laughs> Figures. Um, but yeah. Um, his hair, which used to be uh, red, is now stark white. The burns on his skin are still there, but... Yeah, something is different. His skin is paler, and his eyes seem darker at the same time. Okay, okay, more Picana. Do you want to describe how you look? Oh, sure. Uh, let's see, what, what's my height? Ah, uh, cool. Well, you mostly see a three foot tall little gnome. Uh, looks to be about in his 20s, maybe 25 in human years. But, you know, gnomes are always older than what they look like. Mm -hmm. And he has quite a useful appearance to him. Of course, he's dressed in this white gown, so to say, whatever it is. And yep. his hair is fire red, which oh, yeah. is the most distinguishable feature. No no scars, no burn marks, no strange things anywhere, at least not that you can see. Yep. And he's looking very carefully around what the hell is happening. Corin, would you like to describe your appearance? Yes. Uh, Curran is a <clears throat> slightly larger than an average human and is uh, he does look quite like Jeremy Irons with uh, raven black hair and a darn face okay. probably once a mercenary or a mercenary leader uh, some scars uh, are in his face mm -hmm. telling you of his uh, past fights and battles yeah <laughs> very good Okay, uh, Conrad, would you like to describe your appearance? Uh, well, if you guys remember Conrad from the last game, it's pretty much one and the same. I mean... There's only Karog, I guess, who doesn't know how you yeah. look. So... But as a reminder, I guess. Yeah, he's he's a human. Um, you can tell just from the way he walks and, and acts, he's some kind of Knightish or soldier, and he's obviously more used to wearing armor than he is clothing. <laughs> At the moment, he just has a tunic. Yeah, um, so it's kind of weird. Yeah. Makes sense. Um, okay, so you have merged into a corridor. Uh, will you all give me a perception check, please? Is it for traps? Uh, it's not for traps. Oh wow, good, <laughs> Karen. <laughs> good start. He's just bewildered by what's going on. Yeah, I'll just flash the ones out. Of <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. Okay, um, even even with a one, it you're basically bewildered by what's happening, but you can you can tell that you're in a large, spacious corridor. Um, the air here is kind of warm, which is strange because it's so airy, and with you being uh, more or less lightly dressed, you'd expect it to be a, a lot colder than it actually oh, is. Um, We're in a volcano! No. <laughs> the floor is cold, though, on your feet. Um, behind you, so in other words, near Ember's side, which is here, there is a small window which is boarded up. Um, and the same for Conrad on this side. Does it look recent? or It looks fairly recent. Um, having said that, uh, to be honest, Morpicana, you you would be able to tell that this this castle itself, 
because it's clearly a castle, you can tell from the structures here, um, mm -hmm. seems very, very old. It's it's very clean, but very old. Strange. Mm -hmm. Anything you'd like to do before we carry on? Oh, that's fine. Anyone else? No, I, I think I'd just be following the girl. I mean... Fair enough. Okay, so she is basically going to be leading you uh, down the corridor towards the west. So I'm just going to go to reveal so I can show you what you see. Pop. Okay, so the corridor loops around like that, and it leads to this. And on the other side, there's some kind of staircase it's leading up. So I'll just move her. Sorry, I have to swap between reveal and move. There we go. Uh, so she'll lead you all to here. Unless you want to wander off elsewhere, I mean, under no obligation to follow her. Hmm. Okay. So she's basically, when you when you actually see her now, the light is a bit better in this part. Um, she's kind of looking at you with slightly fearful eyes. Um, she says, "Oh, you, you need to head through that door and keep going. Um, I need to." I need to take care of something, so I'll I'll be right back. I'll, I'll meet you in the gallery, okay? It's not far. Sorry. What's I, your name? It, it's Alwyn. My name's Alwyn. Alwyn. Alwyn, yes. I'll I'll type it out for you. There you go. Don't, don't worry, Ember. I, I promise. I'll explain everything soon, and then she just basically runs up these stairs, and she, you lose sight of her when she gets higher up. Um, there's nothing stopping you going after her if you want, but there you go. You have okay. been left together. <clears throat> my name. I, I would greet everyone, and then um, make a move for the door. Let's see uh, what this is about. Give... Oh. Give me. I would probably bef before I went through the door. Yep. Ask everybody what's the last thing they remember. Good plan. Okay. Uh, if you guys give me a knowledge history roll, if you don't have knowledge history, just a flat intelligence roll will suffice. But you'll get more oh, knowledge out of knowledge history. Okay. Those are those are good yeah. stats. But <laughs> Oh wow. Karin did way better this time. Okay. Oh I do have it. Okay. Very good. And that is knowledge history. Got you. Very nice. It's a shame I can't play music through Roll20 anymore. You can, it's just crap. Yeah. Like, I can't, I can't specify how I used to. But, meh, not much I can do about that. Okay, cool. Alright, you're all actually did pretty well. Okay, so... Corin, mm -hmm. you remember being a mercenary, like you said. Um, you were fighting on some kind of battlefield uh, in a city that was being attacked by war machines. Um, around you were several armies of different races and nations. Um, the last thing you can really remember is charging into an actual infantry line, um, but you can't really remember who it was you were fighting. It's, it's all a bit blurry, and after that you don't remember anything. Okay. Okay. Morpikana yeah, you, you I know. Can, you can remember parts of your history, the backstory you gave me. Mm -hmm. um, you can't remember the whole thing. You just remember the incident with the uh, with the spells going wrong. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, 
and you don't remember anything else than that at this time. Okay, uh, Conrad and Ember, um, you also remember fighting in a battle within a city. Um, you distinctly remember some kind of demons being the enemy. Um, beyond that, all you'll remember is what you actually remember from the session. How meta is that? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Your memories will be stoked as we play through the campaign, but otherwise it's up to you to remember as individuals the exact nature of what happened. Oh my god. But there you go. Um, as for backstories and that kind of thing, you remember your entire history. Okay. So, so I'm taking that as the, like the final demon fight with the cannon and everything. And... Yes. Okay. You remember fighting in the city of Rise. Okay. Um, you don't remember Morpicana or Corin being there. But of course, yeah, they could have been with a different regiment or something. Yeah, I mean, there were thousands of soldiers, so exactly. Well, it seems pretty likely that Corin was actually there from the description. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. I mean, there's a reason we like recruited like every kingdom's soldiers in the continent. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh. As you are basically collecting yourselves in this area, um, you hear a loud creaking sound coming from the south part of the corridor. And a bit of masonry starts to, to shuffle loose from the ceiling. It sends a shower of dust <clears throat> sprinkling down. It seems like the structure of this castle, something's affecting it. Okay. Without saying a word, I run for the door that you pointed at. <laughs> okay. Yep. Follow. All right. So, do you try and open the door? Of course. Excellent. I'm not stopping. All right. Let me show you what you can see. Um, between local and nobility knowledge, can I get an idea where we are, or like what dynasty? At the moment, you do not remember. Okay. None of this is really making sense. I mean, what is the last thing you remember as, as Conrad? I'm trying to think. Didn't we go into the... No, we had a happy ending. Mm. Well, sort of. No, we didn't. <laughs> no. We were on top of a burning tower yeah. killing a demon general. No, no, that's... So that we went into the city, tried to kill a dragon, which no. was powerful. Adam, Adam did do a epilogue. I did do an epilogue. Um... I stabbed everyone, I remember. Hey, Morpicana. That's <laughs> Sorry, weird. Where are all these memories coming from? <laughs> they don't seem like yours. Of course they're not. Then how can you remember them? He was a secret lover. It's, it's weird. Magic. It's, it's weird magic. because you distinctly remember them. I just like this. <laughs> okay. Uh, so yeah, you have emerged into a large hall. Um, there are huge windows lining the northern side. Um, well, you assume it's north, obviously, you don't know yet. Um, and the light is streaming through. Uh, to the front you can see large double doors, sorry they didn't fit the whole thing, but whatever. Um, which you assume this is the front entrance of the castle itself. And then there is a carpet running up some Rather simplistic looking stairs, considering the scale of this room, um, and leading into a corridor behind. Um, the hall itself is completely empty. Ooh, I forgot a little bit, sorry. Um, apart from, there seems to be a small side door here. Sorry, not sure if you can see that. So there's a small side door here, and then of course there is another door the same as the one you've entered here. Um, as you move into here, your footsteps echo, despite the fact you have bare feet. The floor's a bit warmer in here, thanks to the sunlight. Okay, is there anything we can see through the windows? 
that's making yes. these horrible rocket sound uh, on the castle? Yes, uh, you can see nothing but clouds. Mm. Swirling clouds just milling past each other. Um, if you go right up to the window and look, you look down and you can see nothing but clouds. <laughs> it's as though the castle is completely surrounded by them. Yeah, I figured. So where we could be in the sky? We're on a very high mountain. I know exactly where I am. Because mm. I remember too much. <sighs> How how weird is it that you keep remembering these things, Morpikana? It's so strange. Yeah, I know. But you are remembering them. I remember a castle in the clouds where oh. this dude actually had to stab his party in order to get out of this endless loophole of falling. Mm. Mm. So Ember went up the stairs in the corridor, and he can see uh, two more doors, um, and a large door in front of him. Um, it's a very ornate looking door. In fact, all the things up here seem more nicely decorated than the ones you've seen so far. Other than that, you can't see anything else up here. I am going to go straight to the front door and go outside. Okay. Or at least try to. Yes. Okay, so you move up to the front door. Um, you pull down the handle of the door try and push it open and it seems to be stuck so you start shoving your weight behind it. Uh, can you give me a strength check please? Of course. Find it. Uh... What's everyone else doing while he's doing this? <coughs> Pushing it for quite some time. Damn it, it's stuck! <laughs> I shout out. <clears throat> Seems more uh, Kane is having trouble with the door. Corin is looking curiously at him and just... Um, you need a helping hand there. I would love to! <laughs> I can help you, maybe, if you can maybe tell me what the heck is going on. If I knew, I would. Hmm. Well then, then let's give it a try. Okay, give me a strength check, please, Corin. Okay, so... You push the handle down just like Morpikana did. Um, he was kind of dangling from it when he did it, which meant he couldn't <laughs> he couldn't push it very well. Um, yeah, too small. <laughs> but with the two of you, you shunt the door open, and it swings widely open. Can you both give me a reflex save, please? Um, the door swings open, and below you is literally nothing but air uh, and clouds. Oh, um, shit, oh, shit. Yes, you managed to just catch yourself before falling down. Um, that was close. You have no idea how far down that goes. But there's no ground out here whatsoever. Alright, this is not the good door. Let's try another one. <laughs> um, just so you know, Conrad, mm -hmm. uh, when you pray, you don't feel anything at all. Okay. Okay. Am I dead? The last thing I remember is a charge into some infantry line, and now I'm in a castle in the... whatever. And I... Uh, I, I pinch myself. So. Uh, you can definitely feel the pain. Um, you feel as though you're completely alive and solid. Everything around you has sensation and touch and the temperature. But it's definitely a strange place. I start running towards the other door. Okay. Well, she told us to go somewhere, but I have no idea where that is, so let's try door number two. Okay. Oh. It's alright, I'll get that for you. Okay, so you hurry over here, you open the door. Okay, so you are now in another branch of corridor. Uh, there's yet another door at the end. On your left seems to be a spiral staircase leading down. On your right is a small door. Ember, will you be following the others? Yes. Okay, just making sure. 
Okay. Why don't we try? Why don't we try what's on the end, other end of these stairs and see what's up there? Okay. Go for it. Go have a look. I got more doors here. What's in the other one? So comrade goes up the stairs, and he can see a corridor leading off into what looks like some kind of T junction. Um, when you get up the stairs, Conrad. Yeah. Hang on one sec. I'll just put you back a minute. Um, the last one creaks loudly, and you could swear you heard some kind of movement further down the corridor, but it's kind of like a shifting of leaves in terms of sound. And at that moment, you hear another rumble. All of you hear this bit, um, and the room you're in kind of shakes. The wind, the glass in the window panes rattles. Um, it's definitely getting worse. Yeah, I'll run down here and see what's okay, okay. what breaks off each way. Strange question. Do I get a sense of weightlessness a little bit? Mm, no. Okay, then it's not that. It's the other one. Okay. Okay, so there's corridor leads off one end, loops around some kind of corner, uh, and there's yet another door on the other, on your left. I just kind of yell hello and see if anybody responds. Fair enough. Um, your voice echoes away, um, and you don't hear anything else at this point. I go back to the guys and say, hey, there's a corridor over here, too, with some you know, with some more doors and rooms. Do we want to go there before we try to use stairs? 